Представляю вам соперника при первом бойца в синем углу. Fighting out of the blue corner. Ему 30 лет. Рост 180 сантиметров. Вес 70 и 80 килограмма. Его стиль, ударная техника и профессиональный рекорд. 7 побед и только одно поражение. Ladies and gentlemen, he is 30 years old. He stands 180 centimeters tall. Official weight 70.8 kilos. As a striker with professional record. 7 victories and only one defeat. Представляющий нокат Кыргызстан, достойный сын Кыргызского народа, фото Шурабек Тешапое. Его соперник в красном углу, fighting out of the red corner. Бойцу 27 лет, рост 180 сантиметров, вес 70 килограммов ровно. Его стиль – борьба. И профессиональный рекорд. 10 побед без единого поражения. Ladies and gentlemen, he's 27 years old. He stands 180 centimeters tall. Official weight 70 kilograms seven. As a wrestler with professional record, 10 victories and no losses. Представляющий грозный Россия, не знающий поражений, the undefeated INT Omakana. Рефери поединка Лукаш Басацкий. So here is the tail of the tape, and here we go. By the way, this is the classical confrontation between the wrestler and the striker, because IND is a wrestler, wrestling is his background, and as for the fighter from Kyrgyzstan, Shorabek is a striker. So let's see which style is better now in this particular position, in this particular fight. D comes forward, tries to shorten the distance. Nice fake moves from Andy. The push kick by Andy. Oh, nice leg kick from the Russian fighter. So far, Andy does not make any attempts to take the opponent down, just trying to stand on his feet. Oh, good combination. But wow, Jorobek is ready to exchange. We see that. He's not afraid of that exchange, and he's ready to engage to produce some big shots. Well, just like I told you, ID does not have that knockout power because most, most of these wins were by decision and some of them were by submission. As for Jorabek, I think that his strikes are a little bit heavier. And here we see a small cut near Jorabek's right eye. So actually, I don't think that this cut will bother Jorabek badly. The big right hand from the Kyrgyzstan fighter. And forward he comes, trying to trap the opponent, trying to steal some space from him, trying to trap him near the cage. And I think that Jorabek wants Aindi Umahanov to shoot. Oh, nice connection with the left hand by Aindi. Uh, to my mind, the plan of uh, Jorobeku Mahanov is to make the opponent to come forward and to counter him. But in order to do that, he needs to provide some attacking moves. Oh, a nice one too by Tesha Boev. So far, both fighters are on their feet and we see working in stance. In spite of the fact that uh, Aindi Mahanov is a wrestler and a good grappler, but still, he feels himself. Oh, nice counter! Good counter from Ideal Mahanam, and he takes his opponent back, puts the hooks inside, and here comes the rear naked choke. Oh, that's explosive. Look at this, and Jorobek tries to survive, and actually, he did it. He tries to escape, and he grabs his opponent in hand, tries to control his wrists. And here he comes, Aindil Mahanov again, trying to finish and trying to choke the opponent. A very, very dangerous position for Jorobek Shaboyev. But still, he fights back. Look at that. Look at that courage shown by Jorobek Shaboyev. And he turns around. Ooh. And big, big, massive applause for Jorobek Shaboyev for that escape. He is still in the game, but he was that close to the defeat due to a rear naked choke, but still, Andy Mahanov is not going to stop. 
Deshabor wants to scramble again and once again. Look at this, and I think that he did it, but Aindio Mahanov stayed be behind him. Deshabor rolls, but makes a mistake because Aindio Mahanov takes the side control, puts the knee on the stomach, and Aindio was so close to get into the full mount position, but Jorabek Deshabor shows that Despite of the striking background, he he wants he knows how to wrestle. Becky Porton, he knows how to wrestle. He knows how to defend himself from the submissions, and that's good to know. And uh, two leg takedown attempt successful by Andiu Mahanov. He is on top again, pushing his opponent head towards the fence. And look at that. Look at the right eye of uh, Jorabek Deshaboev, full of blood, a lot of blood on his face, but still I think that it doesn't bother him badly because he is able still to counter. Look at this elbow from Jorabek Deshaboev. He doesn't panic. He knows what to do. He knows how to defend himself in this position. He tries to trap his opponent's hands, he tries to immobilize him, and maybe to make the referee, Lukas Basetsky, to put them back on their feet. Ten seconds to go in the first. And of course, this round goes under the belt of uh, Andiu Mahanov, that's for sure. But just like I told you, Shurabek Tashaboyev is still in the game. Well, he took a lot of damage. And uh, by the way, Lukas Basatsky warns uh, Shurabek Tashaboyev from the eye pokes. Unfortunately, I don't see how bad the cut is. And, uh, but still, the cut men are working with uh, Jorabek the Shabayev's face. What a beautiful counter, by the way, on the replay we saw from Aindio Mahana. Shaboyev is ready to continue, and that's really good to know. The fight resumes. Shorabek Tashaboy from Kyrgyzstan is in the blue corner versus Aindio Mahanov from Russia, from Grozny, representing Fight Club Ahmad in the red corner. Aindio start, starts the round from a stiff jab. We see that Tashaboyev is not in a rush because he understands that. It, oh, that's a very good leg kick from Tashaboyev, and he made the opponent to lose the balance. And I think that something was wrong with Tashaboyev, and it's all over. The referee stops the fight, but I think it was a, maybe it was an eye poke because uh, Jorabek Tashaboyev shows the referee that it was an eye poke, and his eyes hurt. So that's why he was not able to continue, but the referee did not stop the fight. So that's why uh, Aindio Mahanov continued. Look at this. There was not any command from the referee to stop the fight. So that's why Aindio Mahanov continued beating, continued attacking. And of course, we cannot blame him for that because he did everything. It was legal, actually. The referee did not stop that fight. So uh, Aindio Mahanov did his job, he acted like a true professional here, but you know, there are some fighters that, uh, uh, that will never do the same in this position if they see that the opponent is not ready to continue due, due to an eye poke or a groin hit or something like that, they will never continue the attack. But, Andy Umahanov decided it another way, so it is what it is. There was no, well, there was no foul, so to say. So that's why Andy Umahanov connects the victory.
your grand judge Wilbur Kosowski stop this kind of test at 42 seconds of round number two. Технический нокаут. Одержал победу и остается нестоящим поражением Йогер by Technical Nocaut and still undefeated I.N.T. Омахаров! Грозный Россия!